Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, we are going to talk about automation triggers, which is also known by several other names like drip email marketing, automated email journey, email marketing automation, and several other names. So in this video, I'm going to show you the power of having an email automation in your business because a lot of events take place in any business or a website and as a business owner or an email marketer, it would be impossible to present all the time to engage with the customer at the right time. And this is where automation triggers comes in. A trigger is the action that starts an automation. For example, if someone subscribe to your audience or purchase a product from you, then you can start sending emails to them the right moment and you can keep sending them email on automation without you lifting a finger because you can create an automation series which will track the user's action and based on that it will keep sending emails to them. So at sendmails.io we give you a variety of preset triggered automation over here. Now to find out this automation head over to the automation tab over here and then click on add new. This will open the automation trigger where you can choose from variety of automation presets. You can create an automation for a subscriber enrolling to your email list or a subscriber leaving your email list. You can also connect third party applications using Zapier or Pabli since we have the integration of API 3.0. There are a bunch of options over here and in the upcoming video series, I will be showing you different automation presets. So make sure to subscribe to sendmails.io to learn more about automation email journeys. But let me just give you a quick example of how a automation trigger would look like because I've already designed one of the automation over here. So just check this out. It is a welcome email automation series. So as soon as a subscriber enrolled to your email list, we are going to wait for a day and then after a day, we'll be sending an email to the subscriber, which we can design using a free drag and drop email builder inside sendmails.io itself, right? And then we can evaluate the condition where whether the email was opened or not. If the email was opened, then we want to send another email to the person. But if it was not, then we can create another uh, email journey over here. So let's look at what are the actions and conditions we are getting over here. So we are getting action as send email or wait for an hour, day, minutes, whatever you want. Evaluate a condition, which means you want to evaluate whether the previous email was opened or clicked or not. It's not just the open. We can also track whether one of the links were clicked or not. And then you can also perform operations like updating the contact or attributes, adding a tag to the contact or copying the contact to another list. So these are the options that you'll be getting with the automated email journey inside sendmaze.io and in this series of automation, I'll be showing you each and every feature of automation. So make sure to check out the playlist in the description below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.